Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining us for another session of the WNS Operative Grand Rounds. This morning, we're very privileged to have with us Dr. Dan Barrow and Dr. Nelson Oyashuko from Emory University. They'll be talking to us about the important processes of oral boards and maintenance of certification. Gentlemen, thank you for joining us, and please go ahead. Good morning, Aaron. Thank you very much. Uh, Nelson and I want to uh, take the opportunity today to uh, discuss some of the issues uh, regarding the, the American Board of Neurological Surgery, uh, a little bit about its history and about the processes of uh, certification and uh, maintenance of that certification. Uh, the, the American Board of Neurological Surgery is one of 24 boards that make up the American Board of Medical Specialties, which is the authoritative resource uh, and voice for issuing uh, physician certification. There are other boards, uh, so-called rump boards, that exist that uh, carry on certain of these activities, but ABMS and its uh, member boards are really the, uh, the uh, authoritative resource for this. Uh, the ABMS uh, member boards uh, give uh, certificates, both general certificates and Many of the uh, boards give subspecialty certificates as well. Uh, neurosurgery is one of the specialties that does not provide subspecialty certification at the present time. The EPNS uh, has had a long history. It, uh, it's now in its uh, 71st uh, year uh, of existence. Uh, you can see from this slide that uh, it was the 16th board that was uh, incorporated. Some of the early boards uh, on this slide, uh, ophthalmology being the first, um, and, and others before uh, the ABNS. Uh, Max Pete uh, was the neurosurgeon who really uh, drove the uh, organization of the ABNS back in 1939, uh, and he and some of his esteemed colleagues had an organizational meeting back in May of 1939, and you see the names on this slide are some of the uh, giants of neurosurgery at the time who felt that it was important to have a, a board certification uh, process. The AMC board uh, were to encourage the study, improve the practice, elevate the standards, and advance the science uh, of our specialty. Uh, and the first meeting of the board uh, was held in Chicago. And again, you can see the names of the individuals that were there, uh, all very uh, esteemed uh, neurosurgeons um, who uh, were representing both the uh, Society of Neurological Surgeons and the Harvey Cushing Society, uh, which were the two preeminent uh, neurosurgical organizations at that time. The first chair of the uh, ABNS was Dr. Navziger and the first secretary treasurer, Dr. Sperling. Um, the ABNS has learned uh, a lot of lessons from its history. First of all, it was founded by the very best leaders in the specialty whose uh, primary goal was to elevate uh, the specialty and make sure that board-certified neurosurgeons met certain criteria that uh, uh, would, would uh, give the public a comfort that they were well-trained and knew what they were doing. Um, since that time, I think the directors uh, selected have been um, uh, leaders in neurosurgical education. And importantly, they're all very active neurosurgeons. They're all practicing neurosurgeons uh, uh, that have a, a practical understanding of, of what it involves uh, uh, the practice of our, our specialty. I think the other great strength uh, throughout the history of our organization is that our executive director and the entire staff have represented our board so very, uh, very well. Uh, there are a lot of traditions uh, with the board. Um, it's a rigorous process, but I think it's very, very fair. I think it always has been. I think it's very efficiently administered, uh, given the fact that the uh, uh, work is done, you know, really purely on a volunteer uh, basis. Uh, the oral exam uh, is, you know, a rite of passage. It's something that inspires residents and candidates. I think it's remembered with pride by almost every every diplomat. I think all of us can remember the individual uh, examiners that examine does on different uh, subjects. We can remember most of the cases that were presented, and hopefully, most of us re remember that uh, with. Uh, uh, pride and with uh, with good feelings. Um, it's an interesting um, uh, piece from the archives of the ABNS. It's actually a letter written by A. Earl Walker about his board examination that he took in 1969. And uh, I'll just give 